Hi there, I'm Martin from Southways Injector Removals. Uh, I'm going to do a short video today to show you how to do an electrical test on your injectors. So if your um, engine management light is on or the glow plug light is on um, and your spanner light is coming on and you think it could be a, a faulty injector, this will show you this test will show you how to do a quick check and save you a couple of quid on getting someone out with diagnostic equipment. All you need is a uh, cheap and cheerful um, electrical tester. Um, the main thing you're looking for on your tester is that upside down horseshoe, that's ohms, and that's the check in the resistance on the um, on the inside of the injector on the electrical side of it. I've got here uh, a 1.9 out of the 2000 up to 2006 models. Got the piezo injectors, which is on the 2006, 2007 to 2010, and they're the solenoid injectors from 2010 to 2013, 14 um, models on the Traffic Favaros and Prima Stars. Right. So all you do set your um, test meter two ohms. You want 200 k, which is um, the the readings you want. The, the readings you're looking for is anywhere between sort of 160 and 180, maybe 190. Um, so all you do, inside the tip of the injector, you can see two electrical connectors. Doesn't matter which way you do it, because all you're checking um, is the ohms reading. So you put one on one, one on the other, and check the readings on the meter. You want this to say 170, 180. If that goes straight to zero, you know for a fact, You've got an issue with that injector um, also to test if you've got um, a fault with it is leave one of the connectors one of the the testers on the connector doesn't matter which one and touch it to the body of the injector what you don't want is it to have any readings at all you don't want uh, continuity which means that the wires worn through and it's actually touching the body of the injector so you can do it with that one, nothing with that one. So what's happened, the wires are broken inside or the electromagnet is broken inside and that injector is definitely faulty. Um, this is the piezo injector, same sort of readings. Put the connector on one, put a connector on the other. On this one you'll notice the readings start climbing very very slowly it'll go up it will eventually stop on about 170 180 this is also not good just because it gets there eventually um, means the injector is faulty it needs to go there straight away and stay there so that injector is faulty as well it's the two liter so, okay, so one it is a bit fiddly um, and you will have to concentrate. That's my very demanding dog in the background. Um, right, back to the injectors. Right, this one's showing nothing as well. So obviously they're three faulty injectors, which are pretty much new anyway. Right, these are used injectors that are taken out of an engine. Um, and... I'm hoping that they're good. So there we are. Jump straight to 170, 180. So that means electrically this injector should be working. Same with this one, it's another piezo injector. Test it again, one on one, one on the other. Straight up to 170, 180. If it only does 160, it's fine. If it goes up to 190, still fine. Um, the optimum is around about the 170 mark, so give or take 20, 30 ohms, should be fine. Right, uh, just because the electrical side is working doesn't mean the injector's working. You can get other faults because basically inside there is an electromagnet. Um, the magnet can go weak and so when it switches you don't get enough fuel delivery coming out of the, the actual nozzle itself. So you could get it underperforming and it will still show a misfire. You could also get debris stuck in there, uh, which will either block the nozzle, stop the fuel coming through, or it can um, hold the, the magnet open 
and I let the fuel just dump through and you'll get smoking as well and poor running conditions. So this test is just electrical test. So if it's coming up, the normal one is your glow plug light with a little wiggly line and then above it there's a little box with a, a squiggle line in it as well and your vehicle sign with a spanner on it on the dashboard. You'll have those two coming up which are the telltale signs for faulty injectors. So uh, save yourself a bit of money. Um, test your injectors if you're getting a running issue. If they're showing the figures then it could possibly be another fault but at least you don't have to pay for an auto electrician to come out and charge you 50 quid to test your injectors. Right, that's all from me. Um, if I can think of anything else that will save you a bit of money, I'll post another video.